Welcome back. Your customer comes in and says they're about to tackle a new wiring project. Where do you start to try and help them? The most logical place to start with is what are they trying to add to the system? Identifying this and the required draw it will place on the system will allow you to get them going in the right direction. The one other consideration is the length of the run required. In some cases, you may have to suggest going up one size if it's a lengthy run. Let's take a minute to get our terminology straight. Wire is identified by gauge. It is expressed domestically as AWG or American Wire Gauge. These range from 40, the smallest, up to 4.0 or 4 aught. 40 gauge wire can carry only 0.0226 of an amp, while 4 aught can handle 482.55 amps. This is quite a wide spread. In the automotive world, most wiring lies between 18 and maybe 12 gauge. The main exception, of course, are the battery cables or the cables in an EV leading to the battery pack. When choosing the size of wire for a particular job, the run length and the load carried should always be considered. There are charts readily available to assist in the decision process. Basically, the longer the run and the greater the load, the larger the wire will need to be. Another thing to be considered is the wire internal material and the configuration. Copper stranded is the most common and industry standard in automotive. Its ability to transfer electrons is excellent and when properly insulated remains functional for a very long time. Copper wire does internally corrode, so great care should be taken when splicing or placing connectors to be sure they are watertight. When using a connector or a splice, they should always be sealed. Remember, when doing either of these, they are adding resistance to the circuit. What does the wire run look like? Is it color identified? Using different colors for each run allows for a much easier troubleshooting process in the future. Consistency of color in the entire run is essential. Don't forget the tools they may need. Will they be soldering any connections? What about the heat shrink tubing? Nothing makes a job look more professional than organized looming. Runs should be tied with appropriate cable ties to prevent vibration and chafing damage. High quality wire strippers can really make the job go smoothly. Work through the repair with your customer and be sure they are set up for success with the right supplies and tools. Thank you for being with us.